Hi first graders, this is Mrs. Place for another foundations lesson on the farm and today we're going to learn about analogies. Analogies are used to compare two things. We've talked a lot about comparing and contrasting, telling how things are the same and how things are different. Analogies us usually use this format. Blank is to blank as, and then we compare two other things, as blank is to blank. We'll see a lot of analogies in our book today called Beaches to Fun. After we read our story, we'll walk around the farm and learn about some more analogies and then come back to our board to do a little bit of writing. Let's start on our book. It's called Beach is to Fun, a book of relationships. Night is to moon as day is to sun. School is to work as beach is to fun. So they're comparing on the first page that at nighttime, the moon can be seen and during the day, the sun can be seen. Toast is to eat as milk is to drink. Voice is to talk as mind is to think. Path is to bike as street is to car. Back is to front as near is to far. Red is to green as stop is to go. On is to off as yes is to no. Sun is to yellow as cloud is to white. Up is to down as left is to right. Gull is to sky as shell is to sand. Child is to family as finger is to hand. Sea is to salty as candy is to sweet. Hat is to head as sandals are to feet. Winter is to cold, as summer is to hot. Little is to big, as rowboat is to yacht. Ball is to hit, as disc is to throw. Toss is to catch, as fast is to slow. I am to land, as a crab is to the sea. Claws are to crab, as hands are to me. Water is to wet, as towel is to dry. Arm is to swim, as wing is to fly. Juice is to cup, as water is to pail. Raft is to float, as boat is to sail. Is to castle, as small is to large. Road is to wagon, as ocean is to barge. Grains are to beach, as drops are to sea. Gramps is to dad, as dad is to me. Sleep is to talk, as play is to light. And beach is to day, as home is to night. On our last page, we're comparing that we go to the beach during the day and we come home at night. So that's our location. That was a fun book of analogies. I think you guys are ready to see some animals now. Let's walk around our farm. All right. We are gonna go see some horses first. We have a lot of horses in our pen here waiting for us today. So we're gonna go right into their pen. We'll open up their cage. Oh, they already see my apple. I think we should do the apple one first. Wrap up, guys. All right. Okay. So let's <laughs> let's start with our apple. So red is to apple. Red is the color of the apple. As orange is to. Can you guys think of another vegetable? or a vegetable that a horse might like to eat that's orange, red apple, as orange is to carrot. Give her a carrot, and we'll give her a bite of the apple. Oh, do you see all the juice coming out of it? The big apple to bite. Give her a bite. Oh, there we go. 
horses love to eat apples. Oh, it looks like it's almost gone. There's one little bite they missed. analogies with our horses. Fish is to swim. Hmm, think about how those go together. As horse is to hmm, fish moves by swimming and a horse moves by galloping or cantering or walking. So fish is to swim as horse is to gallop. All right, now we're going to compare some body parts of a horse to a person. So a horse is to hooves. See her hooves? That's this part of her right here. Oh, she just picked up her hoof. Horse is to hooves as people are to, do people have feet, have hooves? No, people have feet. So horses are to hooves as people are to feet. All right, let's do another body part. Let's use Molly right here. Molly is right next to us. Horse is to mane, so this yellow part of her is called a mane, as people are to, hmm, people have hair. So horse is to mane, find another mane. Oh, he doesn't want to show us his mane. Let's look at her mane. Horse is to mane, as people is to hair. Okay, let's see if you can figure this one out. This is a tricky one. Horse is to saddle as people is to, okay, so a horse wears a saddle on its back and a person wears a shirt on their back. So horse is to saddle as people is to shirt. All right, let's go into our goat barn and we'll do some more analogies. We have to walk through these horses. Okay. This big thing right here is a hay elevator. It's used to put the hay that's cut from the field up into the barn so the horses can eat it throughout the, throughout the year in the winter. kids named Hermione. Okay, so a kid, kid is a baby goat. A kid ah. is to a goat. Let's go look at a goat. There's a goat standing up right here. So the goat is the mom. A kid, ah. Hermione's standing in her hay. She does this all the time. A kid is to a goat as a lamb, let's look at a lamb. These are the baby lambs, but they've gotten pretty big. So a kid is to a goat as a lamb is to a, do you know it? A sheep, because a kid is a baby goat and a lamb is a baby sheep. Okay, now let's see. A sheep is to hay. This is hay. As people are to, hmm, what is the sheep, what is the lamb doing with the hay? It's eating it. So we need to find a comparison. People don't eat hay, people eat bread, chocolate, lots of foods, right? So a lamb is to hay as people are to bread. Ooh. Let's go in here with our little lambs, our big lambs. They've gotten really big. There's only a few in here today. So a lamb has this soft coat on it called wool. This soft stuff is called wool. So 
Yes. Feathers to sheath, as feathers are to, hmm. What animal has feathers as a part of it? A chicken, right? A chicken or a bird, any kind of bird. So wool is to sheep as feathers are to chickens. Okay, we're gonna do one more in here. Let's talk about a tiger. Do you think there's a tiger on this farm? No, because tigers don't live in a farm. Tiger is to a zoo as a goat. Oh, she's getting big. As a goat is to a, where are we right now? We're at a farm. So a tiger is to a zoo as a goat is to a farm. We compared their locations. Good little kid. All right. Let's walk back out. We're going to see if we can find one more animal on our walk back to our whiteboard. Okay, we're gonna need that for our next one. Listen to this. Milk is to a cow as eggs are to a chicken, right? Milk comes from a cow and eggs come from a chicken. The chicken you see that's yellow and has that um, red thing on its head, that's a boy chicken, it's called a rooster. So he doesn't lay the eggs, but the smaller chicken next to him is a hen, and she does lay eggs, she's a girl. All right, let's go do our writing. Say hi to the horses as we walk by. We remember we need to use this format for analogies, right? Format is just a way to lay something out. So, the very last analogy we talked about today, we got some hay on my whiteboard, was a chicken, right? So chicken, Chicken is to, and what did we say chickens give us? Ch chickens give us eggs. Chicken is to eggs as, now, what animal did we compare chickens to? We compared chickens to cows, right? As cows is to, chickens give us eggs and cows give us milk. Let's see how that sounds. Chicken is to eggs as cows is to milk. We could even draw a little picture to go with it. Draw some eggs for the chicken and a milk, half a glass of milk there for the cows. Nice job. All right, you guys can write your own analogies out on a piece of paper.